In our last session, we established the linkage between the session view and the arrangement view. We did so by screwing around with some clips while this record button was on, and it in turn recorded our moves directly into the arrangement. How can I tell that I actually have something recorded here? Because to the new user, it just still looks the very same. So here's the difference. Um, right now, I can see some solid red bands, some clip areas. The other telltale key is, remember when I pulled this fader during my move? Now I have a little red dot on that fader. What it says is that I have something written to this fader, okay? Now, there's a couple of things as well. I can go and touch any clip here, and this button's gonna fire. This button basically says, Whoa, Charlie, you've got something recorded in the arrange. Are you sure this is crazy? You can't do this. No, don't. That kind of stuff. Watch. Ding. There it goes. It's on now. Okay. And it basically says, oh, no, man, you have something underneath. Well, there's even a better way to indicate that there's something under there. Before we've looked and we've seen that I can turn views on and off via this thing here. Well, Unfortunately, there's one little button that should be down here that isn't. That's called the Overview. So I'm going to go to View and select Overview. Ah, now what I have is this. And I get a little scrub indicator here. Now watch something. When I move my location, these clips change. They're basically giving me a visual indicator of where stuff is down here. Okay. And the other thing about it is that I can drag and drop myself through this whole thing using the transport. How? Now, I'm going to drag this number seven around. And you watch these, these indicators here, and you're going to watch that fader. Watch. You see the fader there? And, and it's basically scrubbing my automated moves that I made in the other view. That would be this view, tab, arrange view. Very good. Now, I can also engage the overview in this view. You'll notice that it is unchecked. Let's go back. Is that for sure? Yeah, it's for sure. In this view, the overview is engaged. Overview engage. If I hit my tab key and I go to the arrangement, I have no overview here. Get it on. View, check, overview. Now I get the same thing. And I can also uh, zoom up on this. We'll get into that in the next session, which is navigation. For now, let's deal with this transport bar. Now, the easiest way to return to the front is to double click the stop button. That's fine. I can also just click the field here, type in any, any number. And even though it doesn't look like it's going to take it, it does. But it doesn't do anything. Right now, here exactly is where my play position is, is 1. If I hit return, it's going to go to 16. Cool. Now, remember this little speaker icon. If you don't see the speaker icon, it's because in the look and feel menu of the prefs, you need to turn on the permanent scrub area. Turn this on. Now, I can move around this way. Now, here's something interesting. Um, what if I want to have it so that I play along and then stop where I s stopped and then restart? So I'm going to hold down my shift key and hit the space bar. Stop. Space bar and shift and space bar. Okay, another little transport deal. Now, all of this is affected by this right here. So if I just drop this speaker down anywhere, you can see that it's being really nice to me because it only does it on one bar increments. And in fact, I can tell if I just hold this down, I'm gonna click hold the speaker button. Click hold. OK, 
Okay, let's change this. I'm gonna go down to eighth notes and click hold. Cool. And back out. Half notes. Okay, so that's that. What's this guy here? Remember on this MIDI track, I made some moves and there are the fader moves exactly right there. Now, this is the pencil. I prefer to use Command B. It, Command B just puts that on and off again, on and off again. And you can see it under the options menu, um, draw mode, okay, Command B. Draw mode, that's draw mode, simple. And right now it's chunking, it's at a one bar grid. And I'll show you how to change this. In the next session, we're going to look at navigating around this uh, arrangement.